just gonna go for it. And if I edit it and it's out of focus, then I'll just refilm it and try and figure something out. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So it's time for another coffee chat. Here we go. I just, I think I'm just gonna talk and I have just like a lot on my mind. Right now I am drinking tea. Um, it's a little cold because it took me forever to focus my camera. Um, not cold, it's like not as hot. I was on vacation last week which was so nice. I went on vacation with my best friend Allie and her family and um, just down the Jersey Shore and it was really, really good to sort of get away from where I live and everything. There's no beaches where I live, so it was nice to just kind of like feel like I was at a tropical destination. I just wanted some time to think and breathe and get away. Last weekend before I went away, I filmed three videos in one day, almost four, and I only liked the footage from one of them, which was my favorites video that I put up. I filmed um, me putting together my mood board, which I only liked half the footage, so that video is coming at you tomorrow. Um, and then I was supposed to film my Veronica Lodge tutorial, which I did, and my camera was so out of focus most of the time, I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to refilm Veronica for you. I don't know if she's going to be up this week or next week, um, so you'll have to keep an eye out for that. But it was just getting really frustrating. I'm trying really hard to make my channel as good as I want it and as good as I can make it. And I am a slight perfectionist. Um, a slight, I am a perfectionist. So when something's not exactly how I want it, I get super, super frustrated because I do work really hard at my videos, filming them and everything. It, if you don't do it, you don't necessarily realize how much time goes into it. Um, mostly like the making of the videos, especially makeup tutorials and things like that. And it's so hard for me to film a full tutorial, have a full face of makeup on, and then go to edit it. And I can't use any of the footage because that means I have to take all that time, all of that product, and reuse it again. So that was super frustrating. But it was nice to just get away for a couple days and sort of go back to basics and disconnect and reconnect with like the people in my life. I just got to sort of get my head back to where I wanted it and sort of think about where I am. I'm over a month post-grad, um, which is hard. I feel like I don't hear enough people talking about how hard post-grad life is, especially with the internet. So, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's so hard to not want to compare yourself, especially to like influencers and people like that. When a lot of people that me and my friends follow, it's not necessarily each other, we do follow a lot of influencers and YouTubers and celebrities and seeing these people that are our age living these super extravagant lives, they get to go to destinations, they get sent products, they have all this amazing stuff given to them because of how hard they work, it's still really hard to not compare yourself and be like, well, why am I not living a super glamorous life? Like, why am I unemployed? And why can't I go to um, Turks and Caicos or wherever? And that's something my friends and I have been struggling with a little bit. Um, some of us, I am employed as a freelancer, I have a couple freelance jobs out, but I'm not fully employed. I don't have a full-time job, I don't have a full-time income, and a lot of my friends are kind of like that right now. We're freelancing or we're unemployed, and it's really hard to have gone to school and to like see your life ahead of you and to know so many people that like get jobs right out of college, and then you get there and it's like, what next? You're so prepared for the college step. Um, that's sort of what's in our society right now. You go to elementary school, you go to high school, and then it's time for college. But then when it comes to the actual life step, there's such a drop off and it's daunting. It's it's scary to be in the real world. I'm not, I got my diplomas. <laughs> my diplomas are sitting downstairs. I am not going back to school. The next step of school that I have to do is I have to go to cosmetology school and that's something I need to look into and something I need to get started. But I'm not going back to school in September, which is crazy to me. I've been going to school since I was three years old. I was in preschool and that's 20, that's 20, 20 years of my life. I'm going to be 23 this year. So to have my almost my whole life be in school and to now 
have to figure it out it's really crazy it's crazy it's crazy you know everybody is on their own path I kept saying that to myself while I was in school because um, you know, you see all your friends doing different things at different colleges, and some people are in sororities, and some people aren't, and some people are um, working, and some people aren't, and everybody's on their own path, and I just have to keep reminding myself of that, because it's very hard to get out of your own head, um, especially with social media so present. So it was really nice to sort of get away and to sort of rethink where I want to go, where I want my career to go, where I want my personal life to go. I've been really thinking about what I want to do to fulfill my life because I'm very lucky in the fact that my career can be fulfilling for me. Art is so important and I can say so many things with the type of art that I put out into the world as a designer, as a theater person. I can say something with my art and even with makeup too. Like so many people use makeup to start movements and things like that. And I am very thankful for that, but I also want to make sure that I'm giving back to charities or movements that I'm really, really passionate about. I personally am super, super, and always have been passionate about brain cancer research because of things that have happened in my family. I'm really passionate about Alzheimer's awareness and animal cruelty and cosmetics. And right now I'm doing research to either find organizations that I can be a part of or volunteer work I can be a part of and bring things to my community. I'm a very volunteer oriented person. Um, when I was in Girl Scouts we had to volunteer and then when I was in high school for church we had to do volunteer stuff and then for choir we did volunteer work and then I went to college and I was in a sorority and we gave back to our community, we had our philanthropy and then actually in my work, I worked for, I actually never talk about who I work for, I just don't think it's important, but I used to work for the company Alex and Ani, the bracelet company, and it is such a philanthropic company. They have a complete collection of charity by design where their bracelets give money back to charities and the charities have designed bracelets. And we had events at the store, which part of the money made that night went to um, organizations and different events. So to come out of, being so involved in my community and giving back to organizations that I care about and to sort of stop that isn't something that I'm interested in. So right now I'm sort of figuring out a way to fulfill my life and I think it's so important. Um, I don't want to, I am sort of a workaholic type personality. I just like throw myself into whatever I'm doing, especially when I'm designing. It's, consumes me and it's all I want to be surrounded by and I want to make sure that I'm doing the best that I can but it can be very toxic and I want to make sure that I'm not just throwing myself into my career that I'm growing as a person still you never stop growing and learning and immersing yourself in culture and things like that so that's sort of what I've been focusing on this week and uh, it's been really good. I'm really excited for some things coming up. So you can definitely look forward to some vlog style things um, once I start figuring out what organizations I want to partner with or volunteer for and things like that. Um, and if you guys have any organizations that you recommend, please let me know or I would love to hear about some things that you guys are passionate about um, because I'm always, I'm always looking for new things to sort of investigate and learn about. I want to keep my brain active and I want to keep learning about things outside of art um, just because I think it's super important. So yeah, that's like how my vacation went. I'm super excited. I don't even know what time it is. I have to go soon because I'm taking my dad and my sister to see Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm wearing, um, where can I put this? I'm wearing the only Spider-Man paraphernalia I own. It's a sweatshirt, it says The Amazing Spider-Man, and I got this at Forever 21 fresh, excuse me, freshman year. And I, even though it's the middle of summer, I am bringing this to the theater and wearing it around my waist because I get so cold in movie theaters. They turn the AC up so, so high and I die every time. I will never forget, I went to see The Incredible Hulk when it came out and I was so uncomfortable the entire time. I was frigid. I felt like an ice cube. It was horrible. And I didn't bring anything with me. And since then, I'm like, you know what? I'm bringing a blanket. I'm bringing a sweatshirt. Oh my god. So yeah, drinking my tea because, oh, 
I'm drinking tea because I have caught some sort of summer cold. Yep, I am that person that uh, catches a cold in the middle of summer. Or I have bronchitis. Not sure which one. My friend Allie, who I went on vacation with, had bronchitis a week and a half ago. And she was on medication. She shouldn't have been contagious, but her cough wasn't going away. And then I started to feel weird in my throat in the middle of last week. And I looked at her and I said, what are your symptoms when you get bronchitis? Because I've never had it. And... I have a doctor's appointment this week to meet with a new doctor because I've um, grown out of my pediatric doctor, obviously, I'm 23, and um, I was like, I'm not going to book an appointment to see urgent care or anything just in case it is just a cold, but I'll have her check me out when I'm there. So um, I'm drinking tea and I'm blowing my nose a lot and I can't wait to annoy every single person in this movie theater with my runny ass nose. It's so annoying. Uh, oh, there it goes. It's disgusting. It's horrible. I hate having colds. It's the worst. It's honestly the worst. A cold is the worst because there's nothing you can do about it. There's really no way to cure it except taking like Dayquil and NyQuil and Motrin and it just makes you feel super crappy but there isn't actually anything really wrong with you that you can just like stop what you're doing. Like if you laid in bed from a cold, people would be like, what is wrong with you? It's like when you have the flu, or when you have a virus, or influenza, I don't know, <laughs> bronchitis, um, pneumonia, like that's when people are like, okay, like take a break, but like from a cold, people are like, get up, get outside, do what you want. And normally, like I get sick because I've been inside so much and I'm not getting out and exercising. I was outside all last week getting so much vitamin D, all the sunburn, it wasn't actually that bad, I just got sunburned a little bit, but you know, like I was being active and on vacation and I caught a freaking cold, so that's where I'm at right now. Well, I think I have to go um, because I need to go see this movie because I bought these tickets and uh, they were expensive because movie tickets are outrageously priced these days. You know, I really, I get it. You want to CGI everything and make it in 3D? Guess what? I don't want to see every movie in 3D. It's not that special now. It was special when I was a child. Now it's not special. And um, it's outrageous to see movies and uh, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go finish my tea and go see Spider-Man and I'll let you know how I felt about it next week on our coffee chat because and maybe I'll have a new coffee next time because I'm still out of coffee um, because I went on vacation and I didn't go purchase new K-Cups. Alright guys, that is everything I have for you today. I hope you liked this video. It was a little bit more rambly and just chatty and my thoughts coming out. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Let me know if there's any topics you want me to talk about on my next coffee chat. And um, if you like this little series that I'm doing or if I should stop and just go back to like two beauty videos a week and then a third like one off day. So um, let me know. As always, you can go ahead and follow me on my social media. My Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are down below as always. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I would love to see this channel grow this summer. So please just go ahead and hit that button and don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it. That's how I know that you guys still want to see these videos, otherwise I, I won't know or I'll just stop making them. <laughs> um, okay, that's everything. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye! I gotta go. I gotta go. Wow. I hate having a cold. It like makes me just so like not coherent.